If you're watching this video right now, that means you're probably either a beginner or a returning player looking to get prepared for Fontaine, but don't know where to start. Or you're just somebody who watches all of my videos. Hi! We are in the first week of patch 3.8, meaning that there's now less than six weeks to go until Fontaine releases. And from the looks of the teasers so far, Fontaine looks great and the storyline seems hard hitting. Now I made a video on 24 things that people can do to prepare for Fontaine. However, this list may be a bit overwhelming, especially for a new player who wants to catch up, as well as for returning players who are interested in coming back to the game for Fontaine. So this video will be covering the absolute necessary things to do to prepare your accounts for Fontaine. Ready? Let's go. A big part of the release of a new region is that region's Archon Quest. For beginner players, I would always say it's a good idea to catch up on the Archon Quests, so that you can feel more immersed in the world of Tavats. It will also give you some purpose down the line when you become a higher AR player, because the suspense of what happens next in the Archon Quest is, for me personally, one of the biggest things keeping me playing this game, and it might be for you too down the line. For returning players, you may have already done some of the Archon Quests before your break. Maybe you were all caught up during that time, but depending on how long your break was, you may have a ton of Archon quests to catch up on. So because of that, I would say that the Archon quest should be one of the first things you should catch up on, especially if you've not done Sumeru's Archon quest yet. After all, you don't want to be scrambling at the last minute to get the Sumeru Archon quest done on the first day of Fontaine's release. No spoilers, just trust me on that. Unless you're in the late AR-15s, because of the amount of time it takes to level up, try and get your AR up as much as you can. This is to ensure that you're not held back by any potentially adventure rank locked things in Fontaine. There are a ton of ways to get your adventure rank up. You can blast through your quest backlog, find chests, unlock waypoints, level up statues, do your daily commissions, fight bosses, and fight in domains. If I missed any other ways to get your AR up, leave a comment down below on what I missed. I'm sure that will help new players a ton. The storyline in Fontaine looks dark, and because of this, and unless I'm overthinking things, the enemies in Fontaine might be a step up from Sumeru. That's just my prediction, but in case I'm right, you should invest some time and resources into a couple of characters to make them into absolute beasts. For new players, focus on investing your resources into one or two damage dealing characters. I know on my AR42 alt accounts, my main damage dealer on there is Garnier, so I'm investing most of my resources into her right now. If you have a 5 star DPS character that you can use to be your hard hitter, do that. Especially if they're from Mondstadt or Liyue, because they'll be a lot easier to level up. If not, I got through my first early AR days with investing my resources into two of my 4 stars, Beidou and Ningguang, so it's not that deep if you don't have a 5 star character yet. For returning players, unless you stop playing as a low AR, in which case, follow what I just said, you probably already have some absolute beasts on your accounts. You can either do one of two things here, either get used to playing with them again and see which one you enjoy playing with the most, or build up someone new. If you're going to build up someone new, I have some suggestions. First off, try and build a new Hydro character if you haven't got a Hydro damage dealing character already. This is because Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, so there's no doubt that having a Hydro damage dealer will be a good idea. However, it's also a good idea to have either a Cryo, Pyro, Electro or Dendro damage dealing character in your roster too, because we might encounter enemies with high Hydro resistance. So you could either use the Cryo character to freeze, the Pyro character to vaporize, the Electro character to Electro Charge, or the Dendro character to Bloom. It just depends on what your preferred elemental reaction is. Lower AR players should be doing quests anyway to get their adventure rank up. However, when you become a higher AR player, it's admittedly easy to want to skip out on them, especially if you're a returning player who is recovering from burnouts. It's important to note that sometimes certain events or Archon quests are locked because you haven't done a specific quest. So to avoid this issue, clear out your Archon and story quests. Your future self will thank you for it. This is something for returning players to focus on if they already have good enough characters to fight with in Fontaine. 
The Overture teaser showed us an array of potentially playable characters coming to Fontaine, so if you're coming back to Genshin for the sole purpose of saving for these characters, it would also be a good idea to use your resin on ley lines for books and Mora, as well as saving up and using realm currency to stock up on books and Mora as well from there. It's all well and good saving your primos and not succumbing to the temptation of wishing, because I swear once you've learned how to do that you have beaten Genshin Impact, but it's the worst thing when you get a character and you have their materials, but you don't have the books or Mora to level them up right away. So if you're broke in books and Mora and you have nothing else to do, focus on that. Whether you're new or returning, there's one thing that's guaranteed to have happened. You have a ton of exploration to do. You have parts of the map to unlock. After all, with almost every new Genshin patch that has been released, there has been a new place to explore. So it seems like a lot to do, on top of the existing things we've spoken about in this video. So instead of being vague like, oh, just explore darling, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some main things on what you can be doing right now. First, unlock any new Statues of the Sevens. This is to make sure that you have the whole map unlocked, ready to explore and get that percentage up whenever you find the time to do so. Next, unlock all the waypoints. It's self-explanatory, but finding these right away will save the hassle of doing it later, when you get into the thick of exploring properly. Once you've done those two things, you can then weigh out your options. Do you still need to build up some characters before delving into exploration? If you still think you do, then just focus on building up your damage dealing characters. Once you think you're ready to take on exploration, then go right ahead. Exploration is used, for me at least, as content to do when there's nothing else to do. So if you feel like you have the free time right now to explore previous regions before Fontaine releases, since Fontaine is going to be a whole new region for us to also explore, then this is a good time to catch up on exploration as much as you physically can. And that's it six things you can be doing right now to prepare your account for Fontaine as either a beginner or returning player. Let me know if you're a beginner or returning player, or if you're none of those things and you're just watching this video just because. If you made it to this point in the video, comment a bird emoji, specifically this one. Now before I go, I don't know where to put this, but I accidentally got my raw reaction to the first time seeing the Fontaine teaser. I didn't realise my voice was being recorded, so enjoy this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Yes! Melazine. She Look how hard she's working for justice in this nation. She patrols Fleuve Sandra fearlessly by herself. Then we can let the court decide their fate. Oh, you're kidding.